Okay, so we got to go to video number nine, I think, or ten. One of those two. Here we go. The topic is still still, still about sets. And we're going to go delve in a little bit more. Problem number one. Oh, first, a as a matter of fact, before problem number one, and a little intro information. Intro info. No... Uh, no pun intended there. Um, anyway, the I just want to sh tell you that this big capital N stands for many times. It stands for the uh, set of all numbers, set of all natural numbers. And let me tell you exactly what that means. It's not a big deal. What that translates into is that it's integers only. It's integers only, and it's positive integer, integers only. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, and then forever. Okay, so it's, but it's positive. It's no, one half doesn't, doesn't belong. Minus 2 doesn't belong. These, that's, that's basically, so that's where we're, we're going to use that pretty soon, and that's why I wanted to mention that. Okay, problem number one. Here's the question. Designate, let me do it pretty much in full because it's um, more vocabulary and stuff that you need to know. Designate, designate the set. We can call it any letter you want. I'm going to call it A. They called it S in the, in the book that I'm looking at. Anyway, what's, what does it have? Um, it has the following elements with elements as follows. Just bear with me for a second. Here they are. 32, 33, 34. There's no brackets here because it's just an English phrase telling you what the elements are. 35. And then this dot, dot, dot is trying to tell you that it keeps going. You can either put a, 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 a comma there or not. But anyway, it keeps going. I mean, it's 36, 37, 38, 9, forever. Now, it wants us to um, use... You, Use a, uh, a a set of a vocabulary for these sets. The following three types of vocabulary. There's co something called the roster method. Nothing nothing uh, complicated. Don't. Um, there's one fancy method, but the most of it is not not fancy. The roster method, which is the one that we're used to. Bear with me for a minute. Give me a chance because this is some new vocabulary. C. It wants us to to um, designate this set using the descriptive method. This descriptive method, descriptive method, okay. And C, it wants us to do you to um, um, basically represent that set with set builder. And this is the fanciest one: set builder and the fancy name set builder, not method. Set builder notation, which is pretty important to know. That's why we're here. Okay, so now get that up there. And here's how to do the roster method. The roster method is the one that we've been using. Here are the answers. The roster method is the one that we've been uh, basically using, but there's a little twist that you haven't seen, and that is, well, here's the, the little brackets there. 32 is in there. 33 is in there. 34 is in there. We can, mute, we can put 35 in there and 36 in there and 37 right? Because it's going on forever, whatever we like, or we stop here, we could stop after 34, we could stop after 35, 36. But the very important thing is to put these dots to show you that it keeps going. They have a name, they have a, they have a name, it's called an ellipsis. But it is hardly, I don't think you're going to have to remember that, um, that vocabulary word by heart. But that is, that's what this, this, those dots are, the, an ellipsis, and it's trying to show you that it keeps going. But it's very important if you're going to use the roster method to show that it keeps going. Okay, the sets that we had before in the previous di bi uh, video, A equals, uh, set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That did not have ellips an ellipsis. It was, had just five elements in it, and that's it. But this has an infinite amount of elements. Okay, that's the, the roster method. The answer for B, the descriptive method, that would just put be, be pretty much e English. I don't think you're going to be asked this uh, in Alex, but you might. So let's be careful. Let's be ready for it. The set A, we decided to call it A, is the set is the set of natural numbers 
There's that word, the vocabulary word again, because there's no fractions in there. Natural numbers, I'm going to not bother with the, the word numbers, greater than 31. That describes it in English. Greater than 31. Starting from 32 and onwards, keeps going till infinity, but it does not include 31, is not in there, and neither are any of the ones that are less than 31. And finally, uh, here's, a, here's an important one. They like this to know, us to know about this set builder notation. X, such that X is a, e, uh, all of the X's are an element of N. They belong to the this capital N, which is the natural set of numbers, right? We showed you that before. Let me just go up for a second and remind you about that. See, N set of all natural numbers. So X, all our X's inside this set have to be part of the set of natural numbers, but that's not the only thing. They have to, and those x's, all our elements in, the, in this set, have to be greater than 31. And that describes the set exactly in set builder notation, the fancy one. Okay, so that's pretty important. Now, as far as you can have finite sets, and you can have an infinite set, this is an infinite set, it happens to be, a, while we're here, might as well just take care of that little piece of information, right? The When we said set is e a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the previous video, well, A is a finite set. Is a finite set. This one right over here, this set, is, we're calling it, happens to be, we're also calling it A, so it's a little inconvenient. But anyway, this set over here is an infinite, is an infinite set. Keeps going on forever. Infinite set. Okay, so that little piece of information might as well take care of right now. It's right there for the taking. Okay, we continue with some more information about sets. We need a new clean piece of paper. Here we go. So... What if you have, if we, what if you have something like this? We're gonna get, go. Let's use that set builder notation. Um, the let me call this problem number two. Why not this? So what if you have something like this? X such that X is a natural number. Is a natural number. Number between one and two between 1 and 2. Well, we just described the natural numbers that they have to be integers. Anything between 1 and 2 is not an integer. 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.997. None of those are integers. So therefore, the answer to this is, is this a null set or not? If you're asked a question, is this a null set or not? This is a null set. There are no elements in this set. That's how you describe this set, right? So that's pretty important to discuss. And, then, and like we said, we said before on the previous in, in, um, video, it's either called an empty set or it's called the null set. You don't call them both usually. You use one or the other, or, the, or Alex will use one or the other in all probability. Okay, now we also talked about cardinal numbers, cardinal numbers in the previous video, but let's get, let me give you some examples to make sure we practice that. The, I've seen tests with those problems on it. Let's, let's discuss a few of those. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's do four of them. Set A is equal, has in it the elements 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's question B. What's its cardinal number? Hold on. We can put the answers right over here right over here in the in a column down here. Uh, question B, set B. Set B has got um, X, the elements are X such that X is belongs to the set of natural numbers and X is less than 16. Okay, the, that's, we're gonna, we need to answer that one, C. Um, has a set called C, and here it's got this element in it. And finally, D, if I just put the symbol 
null set. No brackets or anything, just put the null, null set. Answer to this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is six. That's its cardinal number. All right, did I put the vocabulary word cardinal number? No. Let me put the, we want the cardinal. We put it in the last set in the last video, but let's put it in this, in this video as well. Is equal to what? And here's the answers. Okay, the second one. It's natural numbers, got to be less than 16, but natural numbers only start with a one. They start with one, so therefore you're going to have a total of 15. There we go, 15. So in other words, zero is not counted. This, at least in this book, the zero is not counted as our natural number. Uh, only, the, only the numbers one, it's starting from one. Now, what if the what is the cardinal number of C? So let me let me actually when you on a, on a test, they might put it this way: What is n of a? What is n of b? And the answer is for six and fifteen. Now, what is n of C? The answer for C is that it's one. And finally, what is the n of the uh, of this of the null set? The answer is zero. There are no elements in the empty or null set. And if you had an inf if you had one of our ellipsis ones or one of those, then it would have been we you could have a cardinal number that's equal to infinity, if you if such if something comes up like that. Okay, so that's cardinal numbers, and we talked about infinite uh, sets that we've done. Now let's go to this. Okay, I need another piece of paper, clean piece of paper. It's gone. Let's get rid of this. Let's go to a clean piece of paper and put up the following information. Okay, this is basically informational, but that's if you have two sets, two sets, A and B, A and B, that's my little N there are equal if they have the exactly the same elements same number of elements and same elements if they have exactly the same elements same number of elements and same elements but same elements pretty much denotes the same number of elements okay the the um, that's one statement. Fine. Now the sets A and B, two sets, two sets. Let me put a, an apostrophe there. A and B are equivalent. Here's a different vocabulary word. Watch this and how it's spelled. Equivalent are equivalent. That means completely something different. If they have the same number of elements. If they, sorry about that, let me just cross it out. If they have the same, the same number of elements. So let me show you an extremely easy example. If A has in it one, two, and three, and B has in it five, six, and seven, they, A and B are still equivalent. They're not equal, but they are equivalent because they have the same number of elements. Okay, I must end this video. We've got a lot of information in here.